a freaky, freaky enemy, but uh, some kind of a just a big ass fat dude with a with a mouth instead of a head, but uh, he's killable. He's killable. Salutations viewers and welcome back to my video gaming channel. My name is Gene and today you guys are here with me for the sixth episode of Let's Play Coltic, uh, a wonderful old school uh, type of a Doom or I don't know, Blood type of a shooter, I don't know. Anyway guys, I have played this game. The last time when I played this game was actually a while back. Uh, I have made uh, the last fifth episode even though I have uploaded it like maybe one like more than a week ago I recorded it like I would say maybe four months ago since then I've moved on to other uh, gameplay videos specifically a wonderful game called Warhammer 40k bolt gun you can check it out I'm gonna link it in the description if you want to see the gameplay of that game it is very much similar to cultic in the sense that it's also an old school game anyway check it out if you want to but now we're gonna continue on our uh wonderful cultic adventure where we're gonna keep killing as you know by now demons monsters and obviously cultists uh the level that we're gonna play the next level is gonna be called uh the chapel now i won't lie to you guys i have played a little bit uh, more of cultic since then because I got rusty and I wanted to get into the game and then I actually passed the chapel on the hardest difficulty you can see I moved on to the asylum grounds that's gonna be the level after this one but it's all good because uh, we're gonna get into that in the next episode but for this episode we're gonna play the chapel on the extreme level and this is gonna be a short level I'm probably gonna die a few times it's gonna be a short level, but it's gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be very different uh, in comparison to the other levels that we played. So, without further ado, let's just get into this shit and do the shit. So the first thing you have to pay attention to in this level is that despite the fact that it doesn't have any uh, secrets per se, as the stat screen tells us on the top right, this does not mean that we don't have the very, very valuable and much needed uh, imbued remains that we can find on the right side in this room in the the abandoned chapel room uh, and also here we have just a tremendous amount of guns, ammo, armor, supplies like healing supplies we have everything that we need everything we could hope for uh, for the upcoming battle because I'm certain most of you realize by now we have a very big battle ahead of us. This level is all about a short but a very intense battle. A challenge where we're going to have to just survive. We're going to have to get through this. We have a workbench. Uh, we're going to upgrade our grenade launcher in a jiffy. We have reached the checkpoint. Let's pick up the grenade launcher. We already picked one up, I believe, during the previous level as a part of a secret, I suppose, um, but let's read the notepad. Field journal number six. One last meeting before we start setting up shop in the new building. This time, we were asked to swear allegiance to the group. Shit, I can't keep calling it that, the cult. They've got this doctrine of some kind, a code called the will that we're to follow. We sealed the deal with drinks, real fancy scotch or something. I pitched mine when they weren't looking. I don't do that stuff anymore. I guess the investigator is an ex-alcoholic, but whatever. I advised the Sullivans to follow up with the police. This place we're going is way out in the sticks, and I'll probably be gone for a little while. 
Uh, I'm pretty certain he's gonna be gone for good, forever. He doesn't know it yet, but that guy's, yeah, he's a goner, a detective. I'm pretty certain we're gonna, um, find more, uh, you know, more of his, uh, notepads lying around in the next levels. Anyway, let's upgrade, the, um, the grenade launcher. We're gonna need to upgrade it during this level. We're gonna upgrade, the uh, the blast radius for a more powerful charge which results in a larger blast radius and uh, shrapnel from the fragmentation so uh, let's do that we have one upgrade part still available let's upgrade the sniper rifle because we're gonna need to zoom in a lot with the sniper rifle in the next level so let's just upgrade it right now um, let's reload all of our guns What else? Sniper rifle. Alright guys, so one thing that I want to say, one thing that I want to warn you about is that during this level, no matter how good or bad you are of a player, um, because of the way how the enemies are going to spawn and the way they will move around on the map, it can get very tricky and random, and we might die a few times. Uh, you know, it's almost unavoidable and inevitable so but we're gonna try to do our best anyway this level is, is, is a bit different than other levels in this game so all right so we're being ambushed in the chapel already being shot and soon hordes and hordes of crazy people are gonna by killing us. You gotta focus a lot during this level, but even with all the focusing in the world, sometimes you will get shot, it's unavoidable, and uh, sometimes you will get shot a lot. And, uh, yeah. yeah. I don't envy that dude, but then again, I don't envy any of them. Alright, we've killed all of them. All of the cultists from the first wave, so let's... Let's hope our luck doesn't run out there. Rather, let's just keep hit this guy. No, 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 let's move. Okay, how many? Shit, man. Okay, I was way too fast there. Okay, no. There's a shotgun guy. It's okay, time to move the fuck out of here. Okay, this is that moment where we have to slowly but surely retreat. We gotta retreat, but we also have to realize that soon there's gonna be more waves, more stuff, all kinds of bad shit happening. I hear him somewhere. Somewhere close, I think, so let's move. Okay, while we're at it, it's a good idea to pick up stuff. It's one of those special forces guys I see. Alright. I can't get a, a clear shot on this guy. Finally. Okay, 
And there's one more somewhere. And I don't know whether I should go and hunt for him. He's probably stuck somewhere in the chapel. This level is... I've played it on numerous occasions, and I can, I can say this. It's the biggest flaw of this level, or maybe somebody sees it not a flaw, but rather something fun, is the way how inconsistent it is, you know? Can we try to lure this guy out? I guess we can't. Okay, so we have to move out. We have to run for our dear life. Run. Run, 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 run while we can. Okay, maybe I should toss some dynamite. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. God damn it, man, for fuck's sake. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold the fuck on, dude. I believe there was some armor here lying around. How much fucking shots do their shields take? That's what I want to know. Okay, there's... Okay, we have the Harvester, which I really hate. Because... Alright, good thing I killed them. There might be one more Harvester. Okay, I see one of those ghost dudes. Like, not anymore. He's down for good. There's only one enemy left before... Hold on, wasn't that armor that I picked up? What gives? No? Right, we have to kill one more enemy before uh, we get a checkpoint with the... You could say the, the ultimate mini boss battle. Or the boss battle. I don't know if you could, you know, perceive this as a mini boss or a boss or I don't know, it doesn't matter, but it's gonna be the final enemy for this level. Okay, I don't know what enemy remains. It might be a, a lowly cultist or it might be a harvester, I don't know. It was in fact uh, 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 the ghost dude. Alright, and we have an M26 person tank. I don't know how cults have a, such a, you know, a, such a modern tank. No, don't fucking kick, man. Right, there's four cults. So now the key... Now the key moment is to basically... Okay, so the key moment is we have to keep some cultists alive. Not too many, just some. So that we can move around freely and engage against the M26 person. This is a very important moment, because the tank itself... God damn it, the tank itself is... Like, you can... You can fight against it. There's that fucking barrel, man. Go. Move, 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 move. Right, we're gonna try to... Okay, 
reload, reload your shit. Hey, come on, come on, reload. Fucking hell, man. Hey, move, 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 move. Let's switch this shoddy. No, shoddy, shoddy. Oh my... How did he kill me at the very end? That was... You see what I'm saying? It wasn't the tank that killed me. I just got lethally, brutally murdered by, I believe, a shotgun cultist. I... I it was... This, this game, man. All right. Anyway, we have the last checkpoint. You know, I'm not even disappointed because I've done my best and I feel like I, I had it. But the damage model in this game sometimes, yeah, you know, but whatever. I'm not going to complain. So let's just give this one more shot. Just one more shot. I'm certain this time around we're going to... We're gonna do better. Okay, so, as I said already, the most important thing here is to, is to keep some cultists alive. I'm not paying enough attention. How much? There's like four alive already. So let's, let's move. God damn it, man. Come on, come on, just finish it off. Alright, so that finally person is done. Alright, so yeah, a bit of a disappointment at the end of the level, uh, for sure. Uh, I, I mean, I felt like I almost had it in one attempt. With that, I, I just needed that last shotgun blast to kill the person, but I guess I got wasted by the cultist. Uh, I should have killed the cultist first, but anyway, during the second attempt, we've done it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this level. The only advice that I can give during this level is that don't try not to rush, and you have to realize that um, any type of tactics given are um, not perfect for this specific mission, because the way how the opponents are going to move around on the map, like, you know, it's it's unpredictable. But once the the tank actually spawns, make sure that you killed most cultists, but not all of them, because if a new wave spawns when you're fighting against the tank, you can get wrecked. You can get severely, severely freaking owned. So kill most of the cultists, try to keep some of them away, and then engage against the tank with the grenade launcher, or if you have a fully decked out shotgun, that works really well as well. And dynamite too, I believe. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Uh, the next episode is going to be called The Asylum Grounds. Uh, it's going to be a fun episode, quite, quite different from this one. It's going to be... Uh, to the contrary, it's going to be a very, uh, I mean, not to the contrary, but as opposed to this episode, I meant to say, as opposed to this episode, it's going to be full of exploration, it's going to have a huge map, we're going to have to just explore a lot of secrets, uncover them, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, I'm repeating myself, I'm going to see you real soon, until then, take care, and stay safe.
Yeah, I probably gotta switch to the Magnum. I don't wanna spend too much... Ooh, what the fuck are they doing with that dynamite, though? They, I don't know whoever their leader is. He should give them less dynamite, because these guys are getting carried away with that shit. <laughs> 